Hello, welcome to another Car Boot Team Extra. If you're watching this, it must mean that I it's a car boot day and I'm unfortunately at work, so I cannot attend. Or B, it got rained off, or I got nothing, and I have uploaded this instead. Um, you may remember I picked up these new type magazines and um I just thought I'd do a little video on these because I found them quite fascinating. I actually haven't fully really looked through these yet. Uh I picked up two. I think I had a third one, but I freaking left it in and I'm not going to so this is over here is new type usa and this here is new type japan as you can tell from the usa um as i said before these um these came from america and this comes from japan um i believe the word new type actually derives from gundam uh i'm not overly great on the original Gundam um, but I know the word comes from that um, these magazines generally cover anime so this is the US A1 I believe it sort of ended in 2007-2008 because ADV the people who owned the license decided not to renew it and make their own magazine that was a really terrible magazine from what I remember uh, it's been a long time so actually if I ever find one of them online I may actually pick one up to see how bad it was um, this is literally a translated version of this, but I think with some extra stuff in it or different stuff in it. So I think we'll look at this one first. So um, this was from 2006 February and Eureka 7 is on the cover. They're actually doing the reboot movies of these recently and I've watched the first one and it's not very good. They literally mostly reuse footage from the original show. And even for somebody new who's never seen Eureka 7 before, do not watch it because it, it does a terrible job. Um, I heard the second one's a lot better. So shows you how old it is. We're advertising PlayStation 2 stuff. Um, shows you how old they're talking about. Um, they're talking about Advent Children and I think how long ago that was. I mean, Advent Children is so long ago that apparently they attempted to use the models from it for the remake. And they were like, no, these are really out of date. Um I, I vaguely remember that series. I don't think I saw much. And I like this. I think it was normally like original art on the cover. And they always say where it came from. Samurai 7, the anime series. Um, based on the classic. Um, based on the classic movie. I have never seen the movie. Um, so I cannot comment. But I know it's a classic. Um, you've got the original Marcross. I think that's when they were randomly releasing it. The only time Harmony Gold was a bit like. Oh, Okay. We can have the original Marcos out in English. Oh, don't get me started on Marcos. I realise I've opened a whole... That's what Robotech is to make you loveless. I remember that being popular at one point. <laughs> it's more weird when you get all these series. And, like, some of these series are getting, like, reboots and stuff. Um, so, the Rush Soundtrack thing. Witchblaze. I never saw it. I remember... Um, I never saw this out. <laughs> I to work on motto. Um, people keep you bringing that up. It's just weird people bringing it up. Um, it's just stuff. ADV. I don't know if that was ADV. That's IGPX. I think that's the series that um, Toonami helped fund. And Cartoon Network went through a phase of if something wasn't successful, they literally would write it off as a tax refund. But the only thing was that show would never be allowed to air again. Um, so some random PC game. So other like come down and see destiny um talking about studio ghibli anime network on demand oh this is probably when like all the this is back in the days if you want to watch anime over here you have to bootleg it <laughs> you could go and buy dvds if you're rich I and mean, i would occasionally but 2006 tim really didn't have the money to spend 20 pounds on four episodes a record seven so this must have been quite new at the time. Really good series if you've not seen it. I recommend going. Um, the sequel series isn't that good. I didn't like that. Um, I think, is this the video game site? The video game. Yes, the new wave. The video game never came over here. So if you ever see a record 7 new wave, it's a USK only game. Um, oh, Sh Shikoki Reloaded. Uh, love. There's a lot of sort of... Me, I mean, how to score? God, some of this would be really, really. 
I have no idea what this is. Is this weird all these shirts? Okay, I know what that is. Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. So weird, considering we bought it back. And, um, oh yes, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of this series. Trinity Blood. Um, all the good cosplayers like cosplaying from this. If you ever go to like any of the major cosplay contests, you'll find a load of Trinity Blood because their costumes are hard. Do Blood Plus. I've never seen that. A lot of series. Oh, I remember Guy, but that was a good series. Um, I saw bits of that. Um, to relate Valentine Candy. Oh, that was a good series. <laughs> I loved that series, the Philicons. It was just really bizarre series. That literally the family are all manic. <laughs> it was so dumb. I was to say it was live action. It wasn't animated. It was from Japan. It was just so dumb. And it's just you sort of like this sort of sitcom -y type thing and they just end up in these ridiculous situations and they'd just be like ah, I don't just do the joke at the end of every episode and just end it going oh, 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 oh. And then be like it's some really dangerous situation like life and death situation. Uh some more Zed promoting the Advent Children stuff direct from Japan. Um Oh, we've got some manga publication here. I'm sort of going to cut through this because I'm sure there may actually be copyright issues. Oh, I better be careful. Oh, there's some posters here. No idea what it's from. Oh, it does say there. Kyo Star. Oh, okay, I know. I have heard of that series. Um, be careful here because literally the person had filled out the subscription thing. <laughs> oh, wow. You subscribed. You got... You got, oh my god, you got XL Saga hats. That's awesome. There's more stuff. Oh, and Full Metal Panic. Full Metal Alchemist that have nothing to do. Wow, New York Comic Con. I wonder how much the tickets were back then. These are the things, like even our Comic Con. Oh, wow, vintage cosplays. Um, yeah, I do this. This is a weekend hobby. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's something I do, and there's the art. So it's like nice looking at this sort of thing, seeing what it's like back then. I mean, the cosplay game has gone up through the roof these days. Mark Cross, with the, you said, this is the Mark Cross they released with the... Since you they would release it as Mark Cross and not Robotech with the original dub. Uh, ADV, it shows you, best anime <laughs> company. Uh, they no longer run. No, I did actually like ADV. It's kind of sad what happened to them. Um, best Buy, don't buy Bandai. Bandai don't publish stuff anymore. Or under this under their name. It gets really confusing. I, I could do a video going through. Here we are, the Oh Mikey the Philicans. <laughs> this is just this rack work. <laughs> just it's just one of those stupidest things you'll ever see. It's great. It's amazing. Oh, and apparently the first episode you could get on this. You're like five minutes, so I don't even know under five minutes, so it's not really much. Um Debt to Conan stuff because they had to call it case closed because they were really concerned if Conan O'Brien was going to sue. And I think in the end, Conan O'Brien just like embraced it and he literally went to Japan to like find out what I like about this series. It was quite funny. I've seen the parts of it, I haven't watched the whole. Ah, that's a great series. Oh my goddess. Uh, both of them, the OVA and the that's like the 90s OVA. Perfect Hair Forever. I and mean, that was like some weird adult swim. So that was like a parody of anime. It wasn't a real anime. I'm sounding like a hipster now. Super Monkey Balls. Oh, this is interesting. It's a video game part. So we're actually still talking about video games today. Um, now they're just just in this country. They have just literally announced the reprinting of this on Blu-ray, or it's going to be a new release um, with a new dub, probably. Um, it's just weird how full circle it goes that we've been waiting for years. Only us, only this country so far has announced it. Um, like the Yanks haven't even announced it. Um, I actually know a few people from the company doing it. And we've actually been asking them for years. It has become a gag that we're like, wow, an actual Mega Man game getting released. I know. Harvest Moon, when it was known as Harvest Moon. Uh, I've got Loveless, Broken Angel. Karate High School. I never really watched a lot of that. Like loads of stuff. And oh my god, the really terrible One Piece that literally they had to go back and start from the start because they have they broke so much in the original dub. 
They literally cut out episodes where they meet key, they literally meet key characters. And that's my post. That's cool. I thought my parents were coming back in. <laughs> and there. Yeah. Right. Shows you all the Japanese stuff. Probably some of it is a bit risque. Don't worry. This is not for kids. I should really say this at the start. Right. This one actually comes with stuff. They like came with. Shows you what you get back in the day. Like you got this. You got Lacus and Kira. Like it's like it's 20 years. Wait, it is. It's almost 20 years since that flipping came out. And they're celebrating, like, I think, gun, like the 50, 20th anniversary of like the Gundam. And it's almost 20 years. I think 2004. So literally, this is like four years away. Oh, this is Seed Destiny. I mean, that was like more 2006. It's only a few years away from its actual 20th anniversary. It's weird. Ah, oh, and they got like. Yeah, they got the like the Sea Destiny brochure with all the character art. I love these sorts of things because you see all the. Oh, cool! It's got I assume Kira or it'd be Lacus all over it, and yeah, the Freedom Strike. I haven't watched it in years. It may have not held up very well. Gundam. I kind of one of those. They have just announced recently in this country they're doing like a Blu-ray of it. I think I may treat myself next time we're at Comic Con, whenever that's gonna be. <laughs> And I'll actually go to watch it. I'm going to re-watch that, I think. I do want to re-watch that. Say so they're promoting Seed. Oh, there's a lot more adverts. You can see in the Japanese version. Negima. So this is from 2005. So just a little bit before. But a lot of... The, so see, we got like a... All the stuff. Um, Sakura Tyson, which is weird. Because Sakura Tyson's just got a reboot recently. I think this is the last one they released before the reboot. Um, oh, this series is kind of notorious and I don't really want to tell you why. <laughs> okay, all I'm going to say is the series literally isn't great. It literally, the robot has like a forms in from three different people, um, sort of smaller robots. And when they form together, it gets, it gets kind of dodgy. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, we have a nickname for that series, but I'm too scared to say it on screen. Um, it's a hilarious nickname. Um, see a lot of Gundam stuff. Of course, Japanese love their Gundam. So yeah, it's talking about the Sea Destiny. I presume it must have been airing at the time. So whether this was like the preview for it or... So that shows you, Sea Destiny 2005 it was airing. So it shows you how near it is from... No idea what this is. Um, oh, is that? Oh, Shuffle. Yeah, I remember Shuffle. I haven't seen all the Shuffle. Um, canvas. It's just weird. I just know a lot of these series. I vaguely remember seeing this series. I don't remember anything about it. Um, ah, this is the um, XXXaholics and Sabata Chronicles. Um, yeah, people really went off this really fast. At one point, it looked like it was going to be the next big thing. That's pretty much Sakura, but it's not the Sakura from Cardcatcher. Sakura, there's a lot of multi-dimensional stuff. Um, one thing I kind of hated about the series, I hated the art. Everybody looked like they mated you with Peter Crouch. And then nobody knows who Peter Crouch is because I probably lost a lady who that wrote. He was a really tall, lanky footballer. And it just looks like everybody's just like gone out with Peter Crouch. Like they don't they actually they don't look too bad there. They don't look if you actually watch the series. I know people who love that series and will murder me for saying this. Full Metal Alchemist the movie. I still really like the original Full Metal Alchemist. I even love the movie. Um I like how that movie ends. I'm sorry. I know it's not like the manga, but I felt like it, it actually has a more fitting ending to the entire franchise. Um there's some more friends there. Initial D that's popular. A lot of baseball anime. And they're like talking about Star Wars Episode 3, actually. Oh, this is. So now I'm just talking about random anime stuff. I presume this must be shows that are about to air or airing and sort of like the art. I think these are like little manga. Like they have actual manga inside of these. These random girls are just hoping it's not too risque. 
Um, so you actually got mangas, but I'm not going to show that on screen because that you know, is someone's work and they may not be happy with me showing them. I think that was literally in that English one we were reading. So it shows you they literally did just pull out pages and translate them into English. I think this whole section this is literally from... Because it's saying it did take time for stuff to come out in English. Oh, I've, I've seen something really cool. We're going to see in a minute. Uh, never watched that. Ah, oh, City Hunter. I really want to watch this because the um, main author was supposed to be at Japan Expo this year. Sergeant Frog. No, that was a hilarious. There we go. We can really see it in that picture. They just look really lanky. Especially if you're used to the original card chapters. They're not lanky in the original card chapters. Here we are, we have this cool little Sergeant Frog mask. Sergeant Frog was an awesome series. Here we are. So I could I could pretend to be Sarge Kara from Sergeant Frog. Is this yours about a frog who try or a load of frog aliens who try to take over the world? And like they got like a novel there, I think, or pages from a novel. That's Emma. And I think it's just weird what was popular back then. Some of this older vintage stuff that they were really really even back then they were releasing vintage stuff. That's the thing in Japan, DVDs cost a lot of money still. The sort of still like and they still like release it at four episodes a time. Um it's just how like how it is in Japan, like people still buy DVDs, so the market is and like Blu-rays like cost like hundreds of pounds sometimes. I mean normally like complete series ones, but I've known like heard stories of like DVD, Blu-ray box sets is going like for 13 episodes. This is more Wrecker 7. Um more fan art, it looks like. Yeah. So I try not to drag this video out just to try and see if there's anything interesting in that. Some of the stuff I just said Exaholic again. <sighs> Lucky Star. The DS. I think that just before it actually came an anime. Harahi, that was on that was massive. I was about to say, I wonder if this actually predates when Harry he came out. And that's it. So that was a look through that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. Um, hopefully, <laughs> if it was raining, I hope it stopped. If it's if you got to a car boot out there, please let me know. Uh, but if not, please give us a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to talk about other things you'd like to see on this car boot team extra i say it's not always going to be pokemon cars it won't always be anime magazine but i just think interesting stuff at the car boot i'm more than happy to take a look at it so um hopefully next time i'll actually be at a car boot until then bye bye